TransAsia Airways Flight 235, 2015 TransAsia Airways Flight 235 was a short flight within Taiwan, using a small passenger plane called an ATR-72-600. On February 4, 2015, the plane took off from Songshan Airport in Taipei, headed to Kinmen Island, which is close to the coast of China. There were 58 people on board, including passengers and crew. Most were tourists or locals traveling for a routine trip. But just after takeoff, things went very wrong. One of the plane's engines, the right engine, had a technical issue. A safety system that was supposed to reduce its power didn't work properly. Instead of identifying the correct engine with the problem, the pilot made a critical mistake. He thought the left engine, which was actually working fine, was the one failing, and he shut it off. That left the plane with only one engine, and that one was already not working right. With very little power, the plane started to slow down and lose height quickly. It rolled to the left, flew low over buildings and traffic, and came dangerously close to the ground. In one shocking moment, the plane's left wing hit a taxi and a guardrail on a highway bridge. A second later, the plane crashed into the Keelung River, about 3.1 miles from the airport. Out of 58 people on board, 43 died and 15 survived. Two people in the taxi on the bridge were also injured. After the crash, safety investigators looked at the flight recorders and confirmed what happened. They said the pilots didn't follow the correct emergency steps and they got confused about which engine had failed. Yeti Airlines Flight 691, 2023 On January 15, 2023, Yeti Airlines Flight 691 took off from Tribhuvan International Airport in Kathmandu, Nepal. Its destination was the newly launched Pokhara International Airport, a hub for tourists traveling to the Himalayas. The flight was operated by an ATR-72-500, a twin-engine turboprop plane. There were 72 people aboard. 68 were passengers and 4 were crew, many of whom were vacationers. As the plane approached Pokhara for landing, everything seemed normal at first. But then, something went terribly wrong during the final part of the flight. The pilot flying the plane asked for the flaps to be extended to help slow down and stabilize the aircraft. But instead of adjusting the flap lever, the other pilot accidentally moved both condition levers, which control the engines. This action caused both engines to go into feather mode which is only meant to be used during an emergency engine shutdown. When in feather mode, the propellers stopped producing forward thrust. With both engines losing power, the plane couldn't stay in the air. It quickly stalled, meaning it lost the lift needed to fly. The plane sharply rolled to the left and crashed into a gorge near the Seti River, only about one mile from the airport. Sadly, all 72 people on board were killed. Investigators later confirmed the crash happened because of pilot error. Moving the condition levers into feather mode was a serious mistake. Experts also said that the crew didn't follow standard procedures, and there were problems with training and communication between the pilots. American Eagle Flight 4184, 1994 American Eagle Flight 4184 was a regular passenger flight on October 31, 1994. It was operated by Simmons Airlines on behalf of American Eagle, using an ATR-72-212, a twin-engine turboprop aircraft. The flight left from Indianapolis International Airport in Indiana and was heading to Chicago O'Hare International Airport in Illinois. This was a short regional route, usually under an hour. As the plane approached Chicago, the airport was very busy, so air traffic control told the pilots to circle in a holding pattern near Roselawn, Indiana. While circling, the plane flew through an area of freezing rain, a serious danger for planes. Ice started to build up on parts of the wings that were not covered by the de-icing system. This ice changed the way the air flowed over the wings, making the plane unstable. Suddenly, the plane rolled sharply to the right. The pilots tried to fix it, but the plane went into a dive and crashed into a soybean field. All 68 people on board died, including both pilots, two flight attendants, and 64 passengers. The National Transportation Safety Board investigated and found that the crash happened because the plane flew in icing conditions it wasn't designed for. The ice caused a part of the wing control system to stop working properly, which led to the roll and crash. Experts also blamed poor de-icing design and a lack of clear instructions for pilots in these kinds of dangerous conditions. UTER Flight 120, 2012 Flight 120, operated by UTER, was flying domestically within Russia on April 2, 2012. It left Roshino International Airport in Tumen and was traveling to Sergut, an oil industry hub. The aircraft was an ATR-72-201 equipped with two turboprop engines. There were 43 people aboard, 39 were passengers and 4 were crew members. On the morning of the flight, the plane had been parked overnight in snowy, freezing weather. Ice and snow had clearly built up on the wings. Even though the crew could see this, they chose not to de-ice the aircraft before takeoff. 
Shortly after the plane took off and climbed to around 600 feet, the pilots turned on the autopilot and retracted the wing flaps, but the speed was too low for that move in icy conditions. Because of the ice, the wings couldn't generate enough lift. The plane suddenly rolled sharply, first to the right, then to the left, as the pilots lost control. The aircraft plunged down quickly and crashed into a snow-covered field about one mile from the runway. It broke apart and caught fire. 33 people were killed and 10 survived with serious injuries. The crash investigation found that the main cause was the crew's failure to de-ice the plane. Ice on the wings disrupted airflow and led to a stall, which means the plane could no longer stay in the air. The report also said that poor training and weak safety procedures at UT Air played a big role. Ground crew and flight crew weren't following proper safety checks. TransAsia Airways Flight 222, 2014 TransAsia Airways was operating Flight 222 as a short domestic service across Taiwan on July 23, 2014. The aircraft, an ATR-72500 with twin turboprop engines, departed from Koshyung International Airport and was flying toward Magong Airport, located on Penghu Island. This flight is popular with locals and tourists traveling between Taiwan's main island and the outer islands. There were 58 people on board, 54 passengers, and 4 crew members. As the plane got close to Magong, bad weather from Typhoon Matmo made flying difficult. There was heavy rain and strong winds, and the pilots couldn't see clearly. They were trying to land using instruments that help guide the plane without needing a visual of the runway. On the first attempt, the pilots missed the runway and decided to go around and try again. On the second attempt, they flew too low, even though they still couldn't see the runway. This went against safety rules. The plane veered off course and crashed into homes in Shixi village about 0.4 miles from the runway. The crash caused a fire and major destruction. 48 people on board died, 10 survived, and 5 people on the ground were hurt. Investigators later said the crash happened because the pilots broke key safety rules. They descended below the minimum safe altitude without seeing the runway. They also failed to work together properly in the cockpit. Other problems included poor training, fatigue, and weak oversight by the airline. Voipass Linehas Aereas Flight 2283, 2024 Vopas Linhas Aéreas Flight 2283 was a domestic flight in Brazil that ended in tragedy on August 9, 2024. The aircraft was an ATR-72500, a twin-engine turboprop plane that was 14 years old. It took off from Cascavel Airport in the southern state of Paraná and was flying to Guarulhos International Airport near São Paulo. This is a common route used by both business travelers and tourists. There were 62 people on board, 58 passengers and 4 crew members. As the plane began its descent near the town of Vinhedo, about 47 miles northwest of Sao Paulo, it ran into severe icing conditions in the clouds. Ice started building up on the wings. Normally, the plane's de-icing system would prevent this by heating key parts of the wings. But on this flight, the system didn't work correctly. It kept turning on and off, allowing dangerous amounts of ice to form. Because of the ice, the wings lost lift, meaning the plane could no longer stay in the air. It went into a flat spin, a dangerous situation where the plane spins downward without enough forward movement to recover. It fell rapidly at a rate of up to 24,000 feet per minute and crashed into a residential area. Thankfully, no one on the ground was hurt, but everyone on the plane died. Brazil's air crash investigators, the CENIPA, looked into what went wrong. They found that the de-icing system failed during flight, and although the pilots noticed the ice problem, they didn't declare an emergency. Experts believe the failing equipment and lack of urgent action led to the crash. This was the deadliest plane crash in Brazil since 2007. The full investigation is still ongoing, but the early findings make it clear. Icing is a deadly risk if not managed properly. Aero Caribbean Flight 883, 2010 Aero Caribbean Flight 883 was an international passenger flight on November 4, 2010. It was flying from Porto Prince, Haiti, with a stop in Santiago de Cuba and was headed to Havana, Cuba. The aircraft was an ATR-72-212, a twin-engine turboprop commonly used for short flights. On board were 68 people, 61 passengers, and 7 crew members. Shortly after leaving Santiago de Cuba, the plane flew into bad weather caused by Hurricane Tomas, which was nearby. As it climbed to about 20,000 feet, it entered an area with severe icing, meaning ice began building up quickly on the wings and other surfaces. The aircraft's systems couldn't handle the amount of ice it was collecting. Ice on a plane disrupts airflow over the wings and can make it impossible to stay in control. The plane started to lose stability and went into a spin. Witnesses on the ground saw the aircraft flying unusually low, with smoke and flames coming from it before it crashed. 
The plane went down near the village of Guasimel in Sancti Spiritus province, roughly 210 miles southeast of Havana. Sadly, everyone on board was killed. An investigation by Cuban aviation officials with help from French safety experts and the plane's manufacturer found that the aircraft itself didn't have any mechanical issues. Instead, the problem was how the pilots responded to the severe icing. They were unable to control the aircraft once the ice built up, and the situation quickly became unrecoverable. Pakistan International Airlines Flight 661, 2016 Pakistan International Airlines Flight 661 was a domestic flight that took off on December 7, 2016. The plane was an ATR-42500, a small twin-engine passenger aircraft. It departed from Chitral, a town in the mountains of northern Pakistan, and was flying to Islamabad, the capital. This route is often used by both tourists and locals. There were 47 people on board, 42 passengers, and 5 crew members. About 33 minutes into the flight while flying at around 13,375 feet, the left engine failed. The pilots tried to manage the issue, but they quickly lost control of the aircraft. The plane began losing altitude fast and crashed near the town of Havelian, roughly 43 miles north of Islamabad. Everyone on board died in the crash. Investigators later discovered that the cause of the crash was a mix of mechanical failure and poor maintenance. One of the blades inside the left engine broke because of metal fatigue, a problem that should have been caught during regular checkups. On top of that, a part called the overspeed governor, which helps control the propeller speed, was put together incorrectly. This caused the propeller to spin without helping the plane move forward, adding drag and making the aircraft unable to stay in the air. The investigation blamed both the airline and the Civil Aviation Authority of Pakistan. PIA was found to have poor maintenance practices, and the Aviation Authority didn't do enough to supervise or enforce safety rules. Bangkok Airways Flight 266 Bangkok Airways Flight 266 was a short domestic flight in Thailand, traveling from Krabi to Samui Island on August 4, 2009. It was a regularly scheduled trip meant to carry both tourists and locals to one of Thailand's most popular resort islands. The aircraft used was an ATR-72-500, a twin-engine turboprop plane known for handling short routes efficiently. The plane was named Phya Gan and had been in service since 2001. It had a solid track record and was designed for exactly these kinds of regional flights. During the landing at Samoy Airport, something went very wrong. As the plane touched down, it veered sharply off the runway. It didn't just skid or slow down, it slammed into a small building near the runway. That building used to be an air traffic control tower, but at the time of the crash, it was being used as a firefighting station. The crash impact was powerful. The front part of the plane was crushed. The captain, Chechai Punsavan, died on the spot. The co-pilot got stuck inside the wreckage and had to be rescued. He had serious leg injuries. Out of all the people on board, 41 were hurt and 4 passengers ended up with broken legs. Fortunately, the rest of the passengers were able to get out safely. After the crash, investigators found and studied the flight data recorder. They discovered that the weather was unstable, with crosswinds and large thunderclouds. The airline helped fully with the investigation. Later, the damaged plane was placed in the sea and turned into an artificial reef.